Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So today we're gonna try and strive a little bit harder um, to well get Slowpoke. So let's see how the team has fared so far. Seems like they've unlocked the next level. Ooh, somebody's been really busy. 317 stars. Holy crap. So don't really see players like these on the mobile version very often um, you know most of the time surprisingly enough the hardworking ones are on the Nintendo Switch accounts uh, me especially so this is surprising oh are we actually gonna unlock Slowpoke straight away oh seems like it Ooh. Cool. Gotta thank that player. So we are on our way to unlocking the food tart um, to power up Slowpoke. So okay, so let's do our best to try and cover <laughs> as much stars as we can um, for the team, I guess. Where am I? I don't see my name. Oh, there I am. Okay, I'm the fifth. Not too bad. <laughs> Alright, so let's move along. Let's start off with getting our Slowpoke dressed up. Adorable. Alright, so we've gotten our Slowpoke to join the cafe. Let's start off with the usual stuff. Ooh, seems like not just Slowpoke is joining the cafe. We're gonna get Audino as well. Nice. Alright. Let's go with the Executor. Okay, so this is one of those tricky levels. Um, if you can, try to get all the pumpkins down onto the same level. Well, the key point is try, because this level is a bit hard to maneuver around. So, yeah. That is a problem. Alright, so let's pop the pumpkins and the sugar cubes. Alright, once they are down, let's try and squeeze that out of the hole. Alright, let's get rid of the caramels as well. That's very annoying. Okay, we got rid of most. most. What did I say? Most? <laughs> okay. Um. Making sure to destroy the pumpkins and the sugar cube. There we go. Alright, so let's get rid of the remaining caramels. Fantastic. So it's just the pumpkins and. Um, yeah. The sugar cube, the last sugar cube. There we go, so let's. Oh. Oh no, let's try to bump it out. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Can we push this out? Oh, oh no. Oh, we fumbled. We fumbled bad. Okay, so let's see if we can push that. Oh no. Why did that one have to slide into the left side? There's no way to get it out. So technically, um, you know, we can finish this with maybe a move. Because, there we go. Maybe not. Alright, so let's clear. Let's clear the pumpkins on the right first. And we just use the megaphone here. There we go. So, still worth the 900 acorns. So, one of those very tricky stages. Probably. Can we try it since it's one of the first levels of the invites? Uh, if it's on the second one, definitely the 900 acorns is the only way to go. If you want the stars, that is. Alright, look at this happy little bundle of joy hopping around. Oh, So cute. <laughs> okay, Audino's in the house. Now let's try and power her up. Ooh, now this is not a very difficult level. 
as long as you don't spill things out from um, the middle portion, which we already have done. This is horrible. Oh, that's such a mess. Alright, so let's destroy the majority of the things and making sure that we have enough icons to have, you know, megaphones appear. Okay. Lots of things are spewing out. That's not good. Alright. Let's do this. There's quite a few of icons around. Squirtle, because there seems to be more blue. Setting free the olive. There we go. Alright, destroying as many of the Pokemons as possible. Oh, the megaphones were just in a very bad position. Okay. Okay, let's get Snorlax going. We do need the score though. So maybe let's push this popcorn kernel to the bottom and we'll use this to push. There we go, so we can destroy the two of them. Alright, Ben! So, not exactly a very difficult stage, just make sure that you place everything nicely <laughs> before you use certain. Megaphones or skills, and you should be fine. Okay, so now all we have to do is just clear the regular stages, I suppose. Oh, new recipe. Ooh. Ooh, tomatoes. Make a combo next to the ketchup four times to make it clear or hit it with a skill or megaphone to clear it immediately. Okay, not so much of an annoyance, I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, I've not found the ketchup bottles to be annoying yet. Um, even in my Switch account, trust, they aren't exactly that difficult to clear. Compared to marshmallows and all the other stuff. Okay, so let's just drag out so we can have the tomato bottles laying out evenly so we can destroy them with Meow's skill. There we go. Okay, let's get another skill for Meow. Alright, let's push the bottles down. Fantastic. Oh, we missed out on one. Aww. Okay, so let's just use the megaphone here. Instant clear. And we're done. So, as always, a brand new level for a brand new recipe. It's just a tutorial stage, so it's the best way to earn acorns if you're lacking on them. So try not to mess up too much. Ooh. Alright, so hopefully you guys have been busy with trying to get Slowpoke because there's only 3 more days at this point of time that I'm recording. It's the 28th of November. So yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, to, let's go to. So we have tomato bottles and um, yeah, ketchup. I mean, sugar cubes. Alright. So let's destroy as much as we can because we need the space for Pokemon icons. There we go. Alright, these icons seem to be quite a bit. So let's make use of it. Alright, Pikachu, because we don't want to waste our main Pokemon because we can get a brand new um, skill straight away by using its icons. Someone dropped something above me. Neighbors are pretty busy. Okay, so technically the sugar cubes are almost done. Um, just these two bottles that are still quite full. So let's get rid of these. 
Okay, and I don't know. Yeah, let's do this. So the sugar cubes are technically done. So we just gotta wrap things around them. And we're good. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's not exactly an omelette. Uh, omu rice? You know, the Japanese call it omelette rice. Because usually omu rice has uh, ketchup, fried ketchup rice in them. So that, that's technically an omu rice, but the rice is outside of the omelette. <laughs> Hmm, bubbled items. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, let's go with Squirtle, because there's a lot of them. Let's set free all the bubbled items first. Yeah, right, let's get the last ketchup bottle here. Okay, so let's cover the majority of the items if we can. As many of them. Oh, yes! Send help from the megaphones. There we go. Okay. Getting as many items again. Hopefully the megaphones help out. Mm, well, decent help. Okay. While trying to power up the skill, we could try to destroy some ketchup bottles. One. Yeah, hopefully a megaphone helps out. Oh, come on. This is horrible placement. Okay, there's quite a bit of munchlax around, so we can make use of it to get another skill. There we go. How about you guys? We do need score. Okay, technically we don't have to go with the skills anymore. There we go. Oh, we still need the megaphone. Oh well. Let's do this then. Using up all the moves. So if your luck is pretty good with the megaphone summons from much like skill, you should technically be able to end this level a lot faster than I did. So yeah, luck plays a part in getting acorns on this level. Alright, moving along very nicely. Okay. So we get some brown sugar coating. That's not very good. Okay, okay. Let's try to clear as many caramels as possible. Lots of squirtles, so let's make use of it to clear out the marshmallows and the caramels. Alright, while the items are not visible for destruction, let's clear out these. Okay, push the tomatoes in if possible. Okay, there we go, there we go. So let's clear the marshmallow with the cube. Set the tomatoes free. In they go. Alright, we need another skill. Okay, so we're gonna have to try to destroy a pathway for the tomato to fall in directly. And no, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our score. Okay, we had to use up all the moves. But hey, stage clear is the stage clear. So pay attention to this level, don't want to end up messing things up. Always remember that pushing in the tomato is important once you set them free. Don't want to end up struggling with that. I'm very close to getting plus Hmm. Could this be another episode with lots of stuff added? Get our Lucario's. Okay. Do we need to power up the skill? I don't think so. Oh, that wasn't very good. Oh well. 
Okay. Go. Alright, let's get Machino. And destroy a majority of the I mean Okay. Hmm. Macario then. It's kind of a waste. But you know. Let's try and destroy all the honey. Okay. Set these free. And let's get another Lucario skill. We'll push this up, just in case. Alright, there we go. Let's cover the chocolates. And let's get Meowth to push this thing up. Can we get it up? Oh no, that's, that's not good. Maybe let's push this in. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh! So close from, to clearing it. Okay, we're gonna go with the 900. So close. Let's use the megaphone to bump it in. There we go. So yeah, it's a bit difficult to dig things out. Maybe it's easier to push things in. <laughs> okay. Take that into you know, consideration and play that stage wisely if you have not cleared it. At you. I wish they would incorporate this like cafe theme into the anime. It'd be cool. You know, to have Ash and the gang sitting in a Pokemon cafe. Okay. Let's get Bubble Cell going. Alright. Um Maybe set the eggs free first because we do need to clear a bit of the eggs um, requirement. So there is a hole that you can actually go in. And we use the Pikachu's ability to destroy things behind the skill direction as well. Okay. Bulbasaur. Like the cheese. Okay, we've gotten most of the things done. Oh, it's just the vegetables. Oh, there we go. Put the uh, Pikachu icons. Alright. Okay, so the eggs are a problem. Maybe let's get Bulbasaur going. Okay, we've got the eggs completed. Now it's just the veggies. And we are done. So yeah, it's pretty important to pay attention to what is required, considering that the vegetables and the eggs are technically kind of, you know, the opposite sides of each other, unless you are able to shift the egg baskets near the vegetable boxes, so that could be a, you know, a help in clearing the stage faster. The megaphone requirements. Oh no, we have got to pop up all the whipped creams from the piping bags. That's not good. Okay. So, we've got a lot of jiggly paths going on, so let's just make use of them. So we can cover all the piping bags if possible. That wasn't much <laughs> coverage. That's not good. Okay. Let's get more Waba Fats going. We have to make sure that we have enough space as well. For the megaphones to pop out from Wabafet's skill. Alright. So there isn't a requirement for clearing um, icons. So I mean this is just it's gonna benefit us because it summons icons to power up the skill again. So, technically, you know, it's a decent thing to do. Alright, let's push this closer so we can make use of the skills range. Um, 
Yeah, we just have to clear the... Oh no! Hopefully, Baba Fett's skill helps destroy the whip cream. Uh, what? <laughs> That's really unfortunate. I am I'm not gonna spend another 900. Let's just retry that stage. Hopefully, we don't end up unlucky this time round. Let's go. Creams. Go. Okay. All right, all the weak things are out. So hopefully things go well. Ooh, 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 nicely done. Okay. Drawing as many as we can. Alright, hopefully this does the trick. Yes! Oh, fantastic. So luck played on our side this time round. Fantastic. Moving along. Okay, this one is not exactly very difficult. Just make sure to get uh, the skill activated. You know, you don't really have to destroy the chocolate in this one. Um, but you do need to take note that you need to power up the skill to destroy the fruit cans on the right side. Or rather both sides because you want that area coverage then the length, you know of the skill being stretched out. So let's do that. Um, let's try and power up the skill. Okay. Let's just use a bit of this. Don't need to use all of it. There we go. Okay. Destroying icons along. Alright. Go. One more skill icon and we are good. Alright, we destroyed the chocolate. So make sure we cover the three lanes that we require. And we are done. Simple as that. Ooh, I do not like how this stage is set up. Okay, gotta be careful with the olives. I gotta oh, pay attention to the pumpkins as well. I mean, technically we should destroy the olives first because they are the most annoying things. I don't want the pumpkins to get coated with olive oil again and again and again. It's just really annoying. Okay, so let's try to get as many of the skill icons out first while destroying the olives. Fantastic. So that we can just prep to destroy the pumpkins. And of course, we do need the score as well. Let's do this. Oh, come on! That was really unlucky. Ok, 
Okay, so let's try to push this pumpkin closer to the other two. Oh, what the... Oh, what horrible luck. Oh well. Not every day is a Monday. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully we get help from... No help at all. <laughs> I was hoping the megaphones were going to help us. Ah well, job's done. So yeah, so the trick for this level is just get rid of the olive um, olives first so that they don't end up re-coating the pumpkins. So yeah, pumpkins should be the last thing in your mind. Alright, let's keep the ball rolling. Wait, is this the last level? Oh, it was a two-star level, so technically this is the last level for this episode. Oh, we didn't claim the glit gifts. Oh well, okay, let's destroy the bunnies. Gotta remember to set the items free from the Neonis captivity. There we go. Right. Oh, there was no reason for me to power up skill. Ah, oh, a waste. Alright, so we do need to destroy all the honey so we can get the tomatoes rolling in. Technically, we could push them in right now. Okay. There we go. So from here on, we can push all the tomatoes in. Because none of the, none of the honey is actually causing us trouble yet. Yet. Alright. Let's use this to push them in. Alright, fantastic. And with this... Uh-oh! We don't have enough moves! Ah! If only the skill was... a long-range destruction. Something like Charmander's. What, you know, Charmander's facing the right instead of the left. Okay, we're gonna use the 900. I mean, it's just... a few more honey to clear. So... It wasn't needed 900. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. We are done. 10 levels. So hopefully that pushes the team a bit further up the you know rewards line. Oh. I oh I moved up to fourth. Nice. Okay, let's claim on gift. And we will end the episode here. So hopefully you guys are doing great with your own teams. Um, hopefully you've unlocked the Galarian Slowpoke like I have. If you have not, maybe it's time to consider changing a team. You know, because there is that one day delay um, that you can join another team. So since technically from this point of time that I'm recording this video, uh, by the time you watch it, maybe it might be on the last day of the event. I don't know. Uh, uploading has been a bit, you know, um, out of the way right now because of the schedule that I'm in. So yeah, anyway guys, hopefully you guys are doing well with your Galarian Slowpoke event. Um, if you've gotten Slowpoke successfully with the team that you've been working with, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you're struggling with any of the stages, um, make sure you check out the past videos that I've done that have covered all the stages up to 421. Um, if you're struggling, you know, it will help you out. You know, see how I clear those stages myself. And of course, if I did end up using 900 acorns to add on 3 more moves, there's probably a reason why. <laughs> Alright, so anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Hopefully all my videos have been helpful to you guys and entertaining. I 
I hope so. Uh, if you did enjoy yourselves, leave a like to this video. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because yes, we are going to cover all the orders in Pokemon Cafe Mix until I guess this game's shut down. Huh. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!